We have a busy start to the month of February. Hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us for our weekend weather forecast and the outlook for next week. And in fact, we've actually got a 15 day rainfall outlook, which I'll show you in a split second. But first of all, I want to show you the wind map for now. And again, high pressure stuck to the north, keeping that rain away. Although, the wind flows have changed just enough to reduce the humidity a little bit around northern New Zealand and a storm in the Southern Ocean, very windy weather overnight around the lower South Island and those uh, blustery gale force winds continuing around Friday in some areas. And the Southern Ocean is very stormy. Over the next um, four or five days, we've got more low pressure there, more high pressure to the north, and that keeps New Zealand stuck in that squash zone. But let me show you this 15 day rainfall map. This is it accumulating over 15 days starting from now and what you'll notice is the high pressure zone to the north here keeping the rain away we've got a surge of rain coming in for the west coast some heavy falls there that's right up around 150 to 200 millimeters in the first week of february but then it goes dry and the north island doesn't really catch any more rain than what you see there and if that looks like a little bit of rain, it's not really. It's 0.2 to one millimeter around most of the North Island, maybe up to five in some places. Uh, some areas might get a bit of an easterly that produces a couple of showers, but really it is looking very dry for the first half of February. And while the first week sees rain around uh, the West Coast, even the West Coast, is potentially leaning drier than average in the month of February. So we've got more information about that on Friday afternoon and across the weekend on the Weather Watch website. Let's get into the forecast and we kick off with Saturday, high pressure to the north and in comes that Australian heat. So you might wake up and find it's a little cool around some eastern areas. Some places might even have single digit overnight lows but that will change very quickly by Saturday night when it, it'll go up by about eight, nine, 10 degrees in many places as that heat starts to arrive and it will start to move into other places overnight and once we get into Sunday. So here is Sunday and look at all the red lines. So that's measuring air thickness higher up. It's showing the warmth coming in from Australia uh, with that high pressure system in the middle, directing subtropical air to Aussie and then bringing in the Aussie air to New Zealand. That's why we're seeing some heavy rain on the West Coast just for the next few days. But like I say, the month of February might be drying out a bit more over there and we might be seeing a change in Southland as well after um, all that sort of rain and wind. While we do have some wind around over the next uh, week or so and a little bit of rain, suggestion is that it might be a little bit warmer and drier as we go through the rest of February, but maybe not perfect. But just saying, it's not as bad as it was, say, back in December where it was very, very unsettled. So hot weather pushes through, daytime temperatures into the mid 30s in some areas. We might even get up to the late 30s in a few places. And once we get through until Monday, you'll notice a change coming in the south. There's the next Southern Ocean storm rearing its ugly head. And it's going to drive through more wind and a bit of rain again, mostly down in Fiordland and Southwestland. And a little bit does, yes, spill over into Southland, but it's still pretty hot on Monday all around the North Island and the eastern side of the South Island. That changes on Tuesday. That's where we've got the next cold front coming in. Still a bit hot around the eastern side of the North Island. You'll still be into the mid 30s on Tuesday, but there is this change coming through. So that's the last burst of rain for the West Coast for a while, we'll imagine by Tuesday. There is a colder change. It's going to feel like autumn on Tuesday around many parts of the South Island. Windy, wet, and a colder change coming through there as well. And our final map for Wednesday shows the upcoming change, and that is high pressure south of Australia, no longer all up here, it is dropping south. That bodes better for the South Island. It's not looking perfect here on Wednesday, it's still windy and a bit cool with a few showers, but this is on its way in and it should calm things down. And in the north, the humidity takes an ease because you've got a southerly change coming through. And the last thing I'll leave you know, we saw that 15 day rain map and you might have noticed the rain clouds building out here. That's because the highs are dropping southwards and we've got more energy to the north starting to slide south. So while we can't lock in rain just yet, the signs that we might have a better chance of showers, uh, nor'east flows from the subtropics for northern New Zealand later into February are there. So some good signs, some silver lining, I guess, on the dry clouds. That is all from me. We have a lot going on at the moment. Keep up to date with the Met Service warnings and all the information we've got at weatherwatch.co.nz. We'll see you again on Monday.